Welcome back to Eon Plus Gaming. In today's video, I will show you how to use the Mi 6 Economy feature. Now, let's hop on to the video. Now, what you will need for today's video is the Mi 6 bot in the Discord server that you want the Economy feature to be in. And also, you want a dedicated channel for the commands that's going to be shown later on in this video. Which is here, Mi 6 commands for me. Now, once you've got that, all I'm going to do is go over to your browser. For me, it's going to be Google Chrome. Let me just refresh that real quick. You want to go over to the Me6 website, as you can see right here, Me6.xyz. If you can find it, link is in the description below. If you can't find it, you can just click it and go there. If you're lazy, you can click it too. Now, once you're here, all I want to do is click login. If you haven't, once you've logged in, click the drop down arrow and click my service. Now, wait until it loads. Scroll down until you find the server that you want. I'm just going to be going with the Xbox Hub. Just click go to dashboard. Now scroll down until you find the economy feature here. If you haven't gotten the plugin enabled, click it and click yes when it says enable plugin. Click yes. Now here you will have a whole bunch. We're just going to be working from top until the bottom. Now let's go. Now here we have currency coin. Now this is basically to edit the currency coin. So the picture of the coin here is a example of the default one. Never mind. So basically you can edit the coin. If you want it to be a dank meme picture, you can do so. So for me, I'm just going to change it. Now the default one will look like a coin. You know, it's just a coin like that. But yeah. So click edit currency coin. You can upload a icon which will bring you to your pictures and files which you can select it from there or you can select a emoji from your server or in the discord database of emojis now i'm just going to select this thing right here was this peep coin yeah and click save now scroll down and you will see currency name now you can name the coin whatever you want so i'm just going to be like peep coin there we go so i'm just going to name it peep coin you can name it anything you want but make sure you keep the name short otherwise it will probably look like a mess now scrolling scrolling down again we have boost now these boosts meaning it will give a value boost uh in certain times that you want so for me it's gonna be a daily boost now you can obviously uh, select a one shot boost a daily boost a weekly boost or even a monthly boost then we have from the time to what time and what the value is up so let's say we have a command that if you let's say uh, you get type of command saying exclamation mark give one okay so instead of giving only one coin it will up the value which let's say if you put in 500 percent now it can only go up to 500 percent so don't put a number any bigger than that so let's say if you put 500 percent it will up the value of one and add 500 percent more to it which i don't know how much is that but yeah so there is a whole bunch of uh options they can use we have daily one shot weekly and monthly so basically all four of these are pretty self-explanatory so i won't be going through how to use them now scrolling down we have items now this is where it may get a little bit more complicated because it is pretty hard you know so yeah so click the add add this thing right here and you want to add a name let's say i want to add let's say peep all right no i don't think let's say uh hmm, what should we name it hmm Eonplex coin. There we go. Now I can give a brief description of what this item will do. Let's say it will give you amazing luck. There we go. Now you can type any description you want and you can add emojis by clicking here. All right. And you can select any emoji you want. Now, when you're here on the name, you can actually add an image. If you click this right here, it will bring you to your files. Now scrolling down, we'll see price. So how much does it cost to get this item? For me, I'm just going to be like 50 coins. All right, there we go. Now type, it's going to be a roll or a usable item. I'll be going over the usable item once I've been finished with the roll. Now here we can select the roll that you want. Let's say event winner. All right, there we go. And you want to add another roll. Actually, no, you can add only one. I forgot about that. So uh, if you spend 50 coins, you will get the event winner roll, which is called the Eon Plus coin, which will give you amazing luck. So 
So be sure to sub and yeah. So destroy on use meaning once the person has used the item, it will automatically delete the item from the player's inventory. So for me, I want this to be a one-time use item, so I'm just going to enable that. Now here, can buy multiple times. So basically, instead of just having to buy one, they can buy more than one uh, each time. So let's say you want someone to buy up to five every time. So let's say they want to be like, uh, buy five coins they can buy. So otherwise, if you don't have this plugin enabled, it will obviously say you can't buy more than one. You have to use it and then buy another one. So yeah, that basically allows people to buy more than one each time they buy. Now here we have buy message, meaning that when you buy the item, which is the Eonplex coin, how what will the bot say? So just click enable the plugin. I'll be like, thanks for buying. Amazing D. Okay, there we go. Oops, we have a typo over there. There we go. So yeah, this is the buy message. When the person buys the item, they will the bot will send this message to them. Now enough of the roll time. It's time to go over to the usable item now. Now usable item, as always, you can customize the name. Give a brief description of it price now i'm just gonna increase the i mean decrease the price to 45 and as always destroy and use now this part has more features so yeah destroy and use as always once the person uses the item it will automatically delete it from the player's inventory can buy multiple times so how many times can the person buy this item every time they buy it so if i don't have this plugin enabled it will only allow them to buy one they will have to use it and then buy again so for me i want to give them the chance to buy two every time they buy at once. Now actions, we have, uh, let's say the bot responds with what? So let's say if you, uh, if you use the item, what will the bot say? Now for me, uh, it's gonna be user mention, which is the user name of the user. You just use the item, amazing. All right, there we go. Now you can either choose it as a embedded, a private or a random message, which will give it the chance to be a private or embedded or both of them. So personally, I would recommend you use a private message because it's more convenient in my opinion, but you can use any one can be a embedded or a random message. Now embedded is a slightly harder one to set up. So I don't recommend you use that if you're not really sure. So I will be moving over to it later on in the video. Now here we have the buy message. So let's say they buy the Eonplex coin, which is a usable item. What would the bot say when they buy it? It will say, thanks for buying, amazing, uh, shock face. So moving on, we have the embedded. If I just off the private one and click embedded, we have all the embedded settings here. We have auto name, which is who made this embedded message? For me, it's gonna be loggamer7. Then we have title text. Uh, what is it gonna say? It's gonna be like, let's say, uh, for me, it's gonna be loggamer7. Title text, it will be maybe, uh, hmm, amazing. All right, I don't know. I can't think of words today. Content text, what would the bot say uh, when you have used the item? You just used, you just used this item. Cool. All right, there we go. So now, once you've done that, all I'm gonna do now is, uh, let's say we have field name. All right, field name, which is like, what's the name of the value? Maybe a EO, okay, there we go. Field value, maybe a two, maybe, yeah. So here we have a picture. If you wanna add a picture to the embedded, you can do so. But yeah, here we have footer text. I don't know what's that, but I'm just gonna be like nine. And the embedded color, what color do you want the embedded to be? For me, I want to make it purple. And yeah, that's how you use the embedded feature. Now, random one doesn't do much really off this. Random one gives you nothing. So you can literally just add another message. So yeah. So this is what the random one does. I made a mistake just now. Correction. Random message means um, if you enable this, the bot will send either two of these messages. So let's say... You have one message, two message, three message. So let's say uh, when someone uses the item, uh, it will either send this message, this message, or this message. Any one of those, because it's random. So yeah, I made a mistake just now, so sorry. 
So that's how you use the part over here. So I'm just gonna click save so we can get out of here. Now moving on, we have banned channels. So let's say you want a specific channel that cannot play this game. For me, I'm just gonna be like general chat, you can't play this game at all. So for me, it's gonna be, let's see, what should we use? Yeah, I feel like I wanna use the, hmm, let's see general chat. There we go, general chat. If you try to play the game in general chat, it will not allow you to do that. So commands. Now, I don't wanna spend too much of your time watching this video. So if you need help with commands, everything will be in the description as well as a pinned comment in the comment section below. So I'm just gonna give you five seconds to read all of this. You can obviously pause the video and read this. Now I will go over two of these commands because two of these commands are vital to setting up this bot. Here's your five seconds to read it. Okay, so I'm assuming you've read it and yeah. So two of the commands that I did wanna go over is remove coins and give coins. Now this of course requires you to have premium. Now with premium, you can obviously give unlimited coins to some, a user in your server, anyone in your server, or if you want someone to get zero coins, you can do so with this command. Now remember, if you want to customize your currency, you will need premium as well. But yeah, everything else, uh, you don't need premium. So yeah, so if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like the video and join my Discord server because we are actually going to host a Nitro giveaway once we've hit 100 members. We are 30 members away from that. Now, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Hope this video helped you and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye, guys. Remember to sub and join my Discord server.